Okay, we are here on Monday and we are looking at the cards from the Magic Dragon set that they have given me so that I can share with you how to get into and over this human survival state so that we can break the spell and we can move into claiming our power so we become the creator of our own future. Sounds large, doesn't it? Um, I would really, 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 really love your help. Now, Serafina has written a very short introduction to the dragons and how she came to me. The book is called On the Breath of a Dragon and I put it in the description. And when you uh, give it a glowing review, Serafina will look into your world and she will give you a, the vision that Source has for you. She wants to contact you, connect with you and give you what, what you're here for. What's the vision that Source has for you so that you don't have to muck around anymore and double guess and second guess yourself all the time. So this is, this is a gift from her so that you get to understand that the dragons are real. Gosh, wouldn't we all love to have a real dragon so that we could just be nose to nose with a real dragon so that we could actually just have, um, it's like a genie in the bottle almost. You just get all your questions answered and things just pushed up against you and pushed in front of you, people, places, depending what you're wishing for, depending what you're wanting to create. Only once you know what you're creating do these things come easily because other than that, there's just too much confusion going on. This is always the message every single week. Whenever you listen to your cards, it's usually to do with that. So Serafina was the first card of the four. She is the golden dragon. She's the dragon that came to me first. She talks about the big picture. She talks about what's really going on and how you can break the spell that you're under. She gives you the go ahead. She gives you the information how you can do that. Um, and she always, she's always saying, you just don't know how powerful you are. Let yourself learn how powerful you are. Um, and this is what all On the Breath with the Dragon is all about. It's just a very short book, just for you to understand how powerful you are and you get to break your own spell. And she just wants to give you this message today. And this is card number eight. Now, this one is entitled Align to the Energy. You are a power conductor. So you have been through an era of seriousness, survival, and this has got you very stuck in routine and trying to figure out things out and struggling, thinking and overanalyzing every little thing. Don't we know what that feels like? You are a powerful energy conductor. You feel energy, you produce and circulate energy and just like the trees on the planet which are conductors of energy, trees feel energy and they produce energy and the trees are rooted into the earth and their branches reach up to the sky and you are no different than the trees. You have access to tremendous power through your energetic roots and your body is a conductor like a barometer of energy. Your skin is um, feeling what's going on in the environment and it changes your very life, your very ways by the environment that you're in. Now imagine you put that environment into your imagination, your luck, your chance, your wishes alter because of the information and the sort of the, the thoughts and the feelings that you're putting out there. You're changing your environment so that then things can come to you, things can manifest so much easier. So conduct like the barometer of this energy. You complete the circuit. You're like the bit in the middle. So coming down from the heavens, coming up from the roots. You're the connector on earth. You're what brings heaven and earth together. Gosh, that's big, isn't it? So you complete the circuit as the energy goes up through you to the sky then loops down through you as a conductor and down to the earth. Moving energy from the earth through your core back up into the heavens and into the galaxies and then drawing back through you everything that you want to create. And that's in your mind's eye, your imagination. The directed power of this is incredible. These are words from Serafina. I didn't make them up. Using your imagination, you can alter and playfully change your character. 
and develop a character of who you want to be in the next phase of your life. This is a strong practice and you can add to it so many details to this character that you really want to see yourself become. To see, imagine and feel what you as this character will be doing in the next phase of your life. But bring it about and change that you want will actually then happen. You bring it to life, you bring it down. And remember, it wants you as much as you want it because you bring it to life. And everything wants to be alive. Everything is a living, breathing entity. Somewhere along the line, it was brought to life. And it's all a game of aligning and directing your energy that circulates like a living current inside of you. It's a game of changing the energy of how you feel it's all a game of changing the energy's frequency. It's all a game of changing how you think. And you keep upgrading how you feel. You keep practicing. You keep adding in more details and enjoy the fun with all the time that you have. <laughs> it's a matter of playtime, playfulness, stepping into what you want to be, acting that character out. You pick a character and you be that character. Just know that you are a powerful conductor and director of energy. You radiate energy from the heavens to the earth and back again and tap into that very energy for your own creations. Your imagination is absolutely key here. How you can change your state, change your mind, change your thoughts, change your feelings. You're changing your environment and you're bringing something down on that energy conduit just for yourself. Again, this is all in the introductory book on the breath of a dragon, which I've put the link in this here today. And it would just tickle me pink if you could, uh, if you could uh, leave a review, read the book and want more from these real dragons because they're here. They can touch you. They are touching your lives. If you can't see them, just know that they are around you. They want more than anything for you to understand who you are as a powerful creator. So this is the dragons. Now, Raphael was the second dragon. Raphael is a beautiful silver dragon. He, I say he because he is a he, or even though dragons don't necessarily um, have a male or female per se, but he has the energy. He's so... Yeah, let's just say methodical. He's just told me he's methodical. He really wants a lot of details put in the practice. He's like the professor. He really wants to see you, right, go and do your homework. Go and do your practice. Add more details in. Keep going, honey, you're getting there. We're getting closer. You're getting really good at this. <laughs> he's really supporting you every single way he can because he wants you more than anything to become your own creator and understand how that all works. I'm just going to turn this other light off here. It's rather starkly bright. Right, Raphael today is talking about intention. Um, this is a rather long um, card reading message that he had. Number 23 in the deck. Trust your deepest knowing. Um, and this is the vision that Source has for you. You can break the spell and you can go ahead and PM me and ask me for a reading. And I will look in as the dragons look into your world and do a reading for you just to show you exactly what you're here for. What is the vision that Source has for you? So intention to know yourself as more powerful than anyone imagined. You are more powerful than anyone imagined. No teacher, no doctor, no anything could understand how powerful you are. And I've got so many stories about how powerful I found out I was. Um, by tuning into this particular, this, this state, breaking the spell, this is what it's all about. It's like, I want more than that. And this is what Draphiel wants to tell you today. You are being asked to trust your deepest knowing of what is the right direction for you and not to rely on others to point you towards your path. It is your very own powerful intention that you were born with. Here you find what's at the absolute depths of you, what you live for and what drives you, 
what you came here for. So often you will find that those who don't follow their divine path and gut instincts and dreams become depressed as they give their true light and their true power away, following the rules and accepting family traditions and seeking acceptance, pride to prove themselves as worthy in the traditional old ways of success. There are specific steps to take to discover the intention you were born with. What some call your dharma, your destiny, your true purpose and passion. It is not the same as if somebody gives you an intention that is not yours. You will feel the mundane obligation energy running through it. So finding the personal specific intention that is yours is truly beautiful and feels unlimiting and freeing. I would add to that and say it, <laughs> it makes you feel so alive. Discovering your intention is like going on a journey. It's like going on a trip on the inside, finding out who you are and finding out what gives you pleasure, what gives you joy, what feelings you like the most. It's rich and it's transformative. And from that you find your deepest intention. It is never about, about the material objects which the world is full of, which you are drawn and attracted to. It is a deep knowing intention. And that's your soul's intention for your soul work and just for you. Perfect for you. And that's what we can tap into, enhance, grow into and see how far it can be taken in this lifetime and evolve with it. It is what you call your life purpose. This is the deep intention and not everyone will approve of your decision to follow your heart and soul intention. You will come against, against criticism and judgment and now is the time to pause, reconfigure, recalibrate who you are and what you are here for and over and over find yourself asking for assistance. The most fulfilling feeling will come from inside of you which will see the signs highlighted and set out your path in front of you. I can't tell you how easy this is and how fun it is when you see the number plate 777, when you see something or when somebody comes up in front of you and you kind of go, is this the person I need to speak to? This just popped up in my Facebook or social media or somebody I met. And you just get this like massive yes and you kind of go, thank you. That was brilliant. That was easy. Follow the signs will greatly ease your journey as the soul becomes aligned with the source vision and intention for you. The vision that source has for you is bigger than you first thought. Let it be revealed and unveiled for you. Thank you very much today, Raphael. Card number two, the beautiful, beautiful silver dragon. We're moving on now to card number three and all you dragon lovers, I mean, we all love all the dragons and some of you particularly um, always choose one dragon or you always choose um, a variety of the dragons. Um, but Tara, it has a great job to do here. Tara is a, she really helps you get past the mundane survival obligation state of being human. She really wants you to flip flop between the two and just kind of go, I'm over that. <laughs> I'm over that. And she really wants you to understand the difference in feeling. Um, card number 14 this week, from Tara, the beautiful sea green dragon. Every single scale is a metallic -y green and blue. She's absolutely stunning. Um, card number 14 is about the huge consequences of um, holding on to old energy, holding on to old trauma, holding on to old anything. Um, I just this recently have been letting go of something that I didn't realize I'd been holding on to, but I get physical ailments. I just haven't been able to rotate my shoulder. It was only go to there or, or go to there. And I'm like, I know it's a message for me. I know it's a message for me. And it takes me some time, sometimes to work out exactly what it is. And I really found out that it was something to do with my fear of standing fully in all of this, you know, the, the being in the public eye and because of past lives being um, persecuted as a witch or a high priestess where I was murdered, 
um, from sharing some of these secrets and the dragons and the sort of the earth powers and all the rest of it, um, I wasn't wanting to in this life take it on fully. And this is something that happens to all of us as we evolve. The way that my body talks to me is one of the most important things that I always listen to. Like, ah, oh, that is so limiting. It's so painful. What's going on here? And these are the physical consequences when we're holding on to old stories or when we're holding on to things that we could really, really do with letting go of. Um, and this is moving into the new human, which is what we're all here to do. Now, this is card number 14 from the beautiful sea dragon, Tara. Um, consequences of holding the energy and the feeling, the vibration. Sometimes we don't know it. Sometimes it's just stuck it's in the way down in our cells. There are huge consequences to the energy you choose to experience. Physical, mental, emotional, financial, and the very air around you changes when you decide. Be curious and willing to graciously accept all that comes your way. You've been given an opportunity to receive a message when you experience a feeling or a symptom rising up. It could be your car breaks down, it could be something wrong with your house, could be to do with like, oh, I can't stand this anymore in this relationship. I, why am I wasting so much time? These are all, aha, something's happening here. And this is really what Tara wants you to understand. Um, allow this to flood into your body and the experience that you're here for. Listen closely to the message. There are huge consequences, consequences even, from what you choose to feel. Consequences that go onto and have a knock-on effect to you physically and mentally and the very chemicals and hormones that are released from the specific thoughts and feelings. Imagine the adrenaline, insulin, cortisol that are being released and the knock-on effects on your hormones to your thinking and to your mind and all your physical cells just from the feelings of fear, mistrust and or anger. Your state of energy is being read and the outer experience is prepared to be matched to your inner workings. I know you understand that. <laughs> then just imagine that all the dopamine, serotonin, nitric oxide, oxytocin, and all those endorphins that are naturally being released when you feel loved, safe, enjoying the pleasures of life. Your state alters, your mind becomes focused, your body feels alive and receptive, and again, you're being prepared to be matched to your inner workings. These are the consequences. Okay, there's a little bit more here to 14. Card number 14 is rather in depth, what they want you to know. In this message of the feeling, you are being asked to become conscious of the consequences that transpired from your thoughts and feelings. You now get to learn something valid and experience how you're being externally influenced and triggered and so affected by your choice of your choice of by your choice just by the choice of your inner feelings what you choose to consistently carry around with you you and all humans have had the habit to only identify with certain familiar feelings and not others it has become a personal pattern to attach a story onto a feeling and then that energy states get hooked in and creates a familiar flow of chemicals and energy relating to that feeling. Many times you try to make sense of what you feel and you go on to analyse it deep down, look at it again, feel it again, tell the story again, look at it again, feel it again, analyse it further, feel it again, tell the story again, go deeper and into the feeling and into the place again in your body. You are creating form to something that could have easily, easily passed. If it's invisible to you, if you don't know what you're thinking, your body will show you what you've been thinking and then it's time to decipher. I'm holding my shoulder because that was my latest one. It was just show you what your latest undercurrent was in your subconscious that your soul is ready for you to release. Do you know what, honey? You've been holding on to this long enough. You don't need to do this anymore. It goes along with your weight. It goes along with your physical symptoms, your finances, um, your relationships, all of that. So basically, we are being asked to purify. We're being asked to let go of so much nonsense 
The dragons often say to me when I get stuck in my humanness, which of course I do, that is such a human feeling, Fiona. And I'm like, yeah, it is, isn't it? Okay, please show me how I can release this. That is such a human feeling, darling. It's just, it's not necessary for you to be worried and feeling like that and worried about finances or worried about relationship or worried about your health or the health of someone else or your parents. That is such a human feeling. I hope that makes sense. That came from Tara, from her very heart and from her very gut to you, for you to understand that What's lying in your subconscious, what's going on in physical, in mental, in financial, in emotional, things that are going on, often is just being held in your undercurrent, in your vibration, and you're probably not really fully aware of what's going on. Sometimes until you we have to wait until you get the physical symptom or the earth consequences to then understand. There's something going on here that I know I can fix. Please show me how. Okay, the last card today is the fourth dragon, Luna Ray. We have to absolutely love Luna Ray. She wants us to explore our feelings, to feel safe in our feelings, and really to get to the depth of the juiciest feelings we can possibly have. Sometimes we, um, we spend so much time protecting ourselves, not wanting to be hurt, that we don't allow all the really good feelings in. We don't allow all the really good feelings of love. We don't allow all the really good feelings of joy and happiness and pleasure into our being. So this is what Lunar Ray, more than anything else, wants us to understand. Just it's okay to be multi-sensory. It's okay to feel the good and the bad. It's just energy. Now I'm saying all of that. And I can't remember what this card is. Card number 28. Explore the feeling of enlightened and the consequences of lifting off the burdens of being human. Well, now, isn't that just a great follow on from what Tara was telling us a minute ago? Explore what's at the rainbow's end and lift off the burden of human mundane obligations. Yes, absolutely. Now, you're imagining what it would feel like to be enlightened. You hear this word a lot to feel so strong and sure of yourself and so no one's bad behaviour is influencing or affecting you. Your stories and old memories are no longer causing you stress and the dramas have vanished in your life. You are in flow and everything is working out well for you. You're wondering what that would truly feel like and we feel that this would be a beneficial feeling that would be more nice for you to understand. To truly experience the feeling, we ask you to drop the narrative of your over-analytical mind. Being enlightened is the feeling that you are really, really very well connected to your soul. You are very aware of your body and how your body sends messages to you in your own language. You know your yes and you know your no. You're familiar with your sway or your getting your yes and no, whether it's um, the sway test or um, testing on a finger or on a digit or on, on your elbow. You know what's right and wrong for you. You feel in the flow with the guidance from your soul. You ask for assistance and receive answers for direction in any situation. There is a feeling of lightness with this is connection, hence the word enlightenment. You feel light. Now, as you bond with your soul and see through the eyes of the soul into your world, you understand everything you see from the soul's perspective. Not just from your personality survival perspective. You remain curious, open, inquisitive to all signs you notice what you notice. If there is worry and doubt, or if there is fear, or if there is exuberance or something else you feel, you will understand why you're experiencing that and what the message is and the understanding. That's often called the lesson. It's not necessarily that you're at school, but it, it's just, it's a message, it's a teaching, it's a lesson. It's an understanding, it's a remembering. The lesson to be learnt around the experience of this situation. We love the feeling of enlightenment coming from you. 
as this means that you are considering us. You are considering your soul that uses your body to communicate and commune with you. Through your vehicle, your body, which acts as a barometer to the intuition from you, when you are tapped in, tuned in, connected, aligned, you will see everything that happens around you is coming either from your own thoughts, feelings, or directly as an inspired idea with an action to re-navigate your course. Just change direction. You are being conscious and that brings you a feeling of enlightenment. You are letting go of the survival state. The state of mind of being human with a personal agenda and becoming less and less affected by all the human traits and all the mundane obligations of being a human in day-to-day -day life, but have awoken awareness of situations that you declare openly and laugh. This is such a human feeling. I can see now I'm evolving. If we, the Dragon Collective, communicating through your soul, tune into being enlightened as a human soul, it was give us an experience of this vibration of how it can appear to be recognized from inside your body. There aren't enough words to explain the feeling exactly as with all feelings, it is an energy and so intangible. We use words today to explain a feeling which is inadequate. But for example, to feel enlightened would feel like feeling taller, lighter, stretched, expanded, clear, focused, transparent, brilliant, light, connected, understanding, knowing your state changes again and again and again and you will notice that you sit up straighter, feel elongated, reach the heavens and feel close to the flow of intuition and inspired ideas running all the way through you. You are an observer and unattached to the personal outcome, but certain everything will work out well for you because it always and has always gone that way. That was from Luna Ray, and she absolutely loves the fact, there we are, 28 with that one there, um, that you get to feel what enlightened feels like. When I work with someone, and I'm saying, can you feel that? I see that their state has changed. I see that they're sitting up straight. I see that they're feeling elongated. I see that they're feeling really, really powerful on the inside. So phenomenally powerful that no one's criticism, objections, rejection, <sighs> influences them anymore. It's just like water off a duck's back. It's just like, I hear you, but I, that's not true. I know myself, I know who I am, I know I'm protected, I know I'm safe. One of the first thing the dragons always want us to work with is feeling safe inside this physical body. It's feeling safe inside of you. This is working with the dragons. They want more than anything for you to understand what it feels like to feel safe so that you can start listening to your own guidance, you can start creating the world around you and you can break the spell that you've been under and you can start claiming your power. This 64 box set of Magic Dragons readings will be available very soon. I've got all the artwork back now so thank you so much for staying with me week after week as I am um, doing what I'm told. <laughs> I'm putting these dragon cards out there, I'm reading them, I'm giving you the numbers and letting you enjoy the dragons and the messages to you. They're very big these messages and even I fall up flat on my face sometimes and then I think <clears throat> I realise what I've been doing, there's rather a human response to that. When we're being asked to evolve into these new humans which Sometimes when we're trapped in our human state it can just seem absolutely impossible. So I'm here to give you the dragon readings. I'm here to help you understand what your true vision is, the vision that Source has for you. And also to let the dragons look into world, your world on a week by week basis in the conscious business and life zone. We're actually looking in and just saying what is it that you want to create and we're following the eight steps 
that the dragons have put out there for us so that we just can keep practicing and practicing and practicing all together so that we make this possible. Once you've got the eight steps in place, it's just a question of practicing them and reminding yourself. And the dragon cards are here to douse through so that you can remember where you're up to it all the time and just have them speak to you on a daily basis. Um, I'm going to say over and out now. This has been a long reading today. This is 30 minutes. I will tag all of you dragon lovers um, when this is finished and I've downloaded it so that you can actually hear your reading. You can understand what's coming up in your subconscious for you to deal with this week. Thank you very much with love from the dragons and with love from me, the dragon lady. I shall see you again next week. Look out for your cards on Friday. Look out for readings in the conscious business and life zone. I'm more on holiday this week, doing stuff around the house and fixing things up for my retreats that are going to start again in September. My retreats really are about purifying the body, a really clean start. So um, that's what I'm going to be starting to do again since COVID's finished. Uh, starting to go again in September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, because um, that's what I absolutely love to do. I love to take you out into nature, talk to the trees, meet the dragons, and really feel safe as a soul so that you get guided. Um, lots and lots of love, and uh, thank you again for being here. Thank you for listening. Please let me know what your um, aha moments, what your takeaways were, what you got from this, and what else you want to know. 